Brady Bugaki here, owner of First Sight Films. I make wedding films for a living and other things for fun. And today I've got my wedding film gear 2.0 because it's changed a little bit. I was shooting all of my weddings with the Gorillapod and recently stopped using this as much. I switched to this Surui Monopod. This thing is amazing. It's got a tripod system at the bottom of it. The last wedding I shot, I shot the whole wedding with this. You could check out the wedding. It's Caitlin and Will was the name of it. And I'm going to start doing more of this. They have quite a few different ones. And then I put a Manfrotto head on it. This is not a really expensive Manfrotto head. It's not a great head, but I like the size of it and it supports the camera that I need. To me, less is always more. Moving on, I've got my Sony a7R 3 Love this camera. Right now, I've got the 16 to 35 millimeter lens on it, G series. But most of the time when I'm shooting weddings now, I am forcing myself to shoot at prime focal lengths and I really like 50 millimeters. This lens is incredible. It's a 1.4 50 Sony full frame Zeiss glass lens. And the last wedding I shot, titled Caitlin and Will, was shot pretty much the whole time with this lens. I hardly took the 16 to 35 out. I think unless I wanted to get a really wide shot of a room, um, I know I did a really wide shot of the reception, a really wide shot of the church with it. That was about it. I just use this 50 millimeter the whole time and I'm going to continue to use this lens a lot. Maybe not even take it off my camera for a whole wedding. So that about does it for my camera setup, which is, it's just so easy. It's two lenses, one of them I hardly even use. Moving on to, you know, of course, batteries, lens wipe, obvious stuff. I also use some ND filters for my lenses and I will put this filter in my shirt pocket because I'm wearing a dress shirt that usually has a shirt pocket. So what I'll do is I'll put my ND filter in there and then when I go from inside to outside, I can easily access it. Just easily take it out, screw it on, and then when I'm going inside, put it back in. Things are happening really quick at weddings and helps a lot to have it right there accessible and not somewhere where I have to worry about it getting scratched. Audio, I've got my Rode mic on the camera that stays on the camera the whole wedding, unless I need to put it on my electronic gimbal. If I need to put my camera on my electronic gimbal, I will take off the mic because of the weight this is the Xion Crane. There's a couple of different versions. Get the one that is gonna support the weight that you want. This was working really great with my GH5, which is being used to film this right now. So that's the only other camera that I have, and I really love the GH5. That camera is a little bit lighter with the lens that I have for it, and it works really well with this. Um, the Sony a7R 3 will work with this, but it struggles a little bit more. So make sure that you get the right crane. There's a ton of them out there. This one was like maybe a year or two old already, so it still works great. Next, of course, I have my DJI Mavic. I don't need to tell you guys about these. Everyone knows about that. I am, however, pushing myself to start flying it legally. I am a private pilot. I fly planes for fun. I'm an aviation enthusiast and I don't really want to fly my drone illegally. I would like to follow the rules. For lighting, I've been using this Roto light. It can change color temperatures and has a brightness with a dimmer on it. However, for the most part, I don't need to use it because the Sony a7R 3 and my 1.450 does such an amazing job in low light. But in a emergency situation, um, a rotolite is a great thing to have. And then I also have a stand for it, which is really, really light and really, really small. For sound, I'm using a Zoom H4n recorder. This is great basically for hooking up to any soundboard. This is what I use to hook up to the DJ or uh, whoever's doing sound at a ceremony. There's a microphone involved. You know, it has a quarter inch and an XLR input zoom h4n aside from that these tascam dr10ls it's a lav mic but it's also a recorder and that's what i love about it it's small it's easy i got one that's white um for bride's dress and it can be complicated to mic a bride's dress if i do it i have to get a bridesmaid to help 
or a female because it gets personal. Most of the time I will just mic the groom and the officiant. I have two of these. I have one in white and one in black. And then they just take a micro SD card in each one. They run for out like eight hours. They will record for longer than you could possibly need. Just one AAA battery and a micro SD card. I think I have a 32 gigabyte thigh straps. I can put this on here. I also have an ankle strap. Sometimes the ankle works better. Kind of depends on what the bride prefers too. We don't want to be too demanding. You gotta give them an option. Sometimes they don't want their dress mic'd at all, like I said, but educating them on the importance of good audio is a good thing to do. Sticky adhesives, basically double-sided tape, really, really strong. I've never had an issue with it coming off during a wedding. Put this on one side of the end of the lav, peel it off, and then it'll stick to uh, whatever clothing you need it to. And then this is a quarter-inch mono to quarter-inch stereo cable. This will come in handy for hooking up to a DJ or whoever's doing sound at a ceremony. The only two audio cables I bring are this and an XLR cable. My XLR cable is way too long right now. I need to get a shorter one. And then all of this just fits in these clear vinyl zipper bags. These are amazing. I use them for other things too that aren't even film related. Really great for organizing audio equipment. I can just fit everything right here. And then I'm still rocking this bag. It's like a, a vintage style um, shoulder bag and most of the time I just, I keep that vinyl zipper bag in here and then some extra batteries, uh, memory cards and I'll keep my extra lens in here. I don't really have much in here and I'll, like everything can fit in here. I do bring an extra backpack for the GH5 and some additional equipment just as a backup in case, well, I have a second shooter or in case like my Sony a7 R3 all of a sudden stops working, that would really suck at a wedding, so I have a backup camera. So I, I bring another backpack with that and I'll put my light in it and my drone in it. So between just a backpack and this shoulder bag, that's all I need. I can't think of anything else. I'm trying to go as minimal as possible. If I could use less, I would. Um, honestly, I probably will upgrade my audio equipment at some point, but for now it's fine. I would love to talk about any of this stuff or help you guys out, answer any questions. Um, very passionate about minimalism and aviation and wedding films. Um, so any of those things you want to talk about, stay tuned for more content related to weddings and don't forget to subscribe.